My daughter's boyfriend passed away. Um, when we walked out of the hospital, there was a double rainbow, and we wanted to know if it was him. Uh -huh. Absolutely. There's one right on, almost on top of the other one. Yes. yes. Yeah. Thank you. Yes, ma'am, you had a question for Sylvia. Hi, Sylvia. I seem to be really stuck in my life right now, and I feel like it has something to do with one of my past lives. Could you tell me no, no, what honey. it is? It's what we call, and I've said this so many times on television, but I think it, it needs repeating, is a desert period. And that period is when we learn um, survival, endurance, you know, patience. You'll be out of this in uh, February. So just hang Thank in you. there. Thank you. Yes, ma'am, you had a question for Sylvia. Hi, my dad died when I was a small child. And I wanted to know if he was around me and how I could tell. No, because he's back in. Oh, really? See, they don't usually come in this fast, but he's back in. Oh, okay. Yeah, he went back in, and he is actually in uh, England. Great. Thank you. So she'll never get any visits from him. That's done. <laughs> Kind of she get visits from other people that have passed, but not him. Wow. Well, look, the book out is called Psychic Children by Sylvia Brown. It's in a bookstore near you right now. you got to get a copy of it. We can talk about it. We'll talk a little bit more about it when we on the show. And my next guest are a mother and daughter who say they share a bond that goes far beyond what mothers and daughters normally have to deal with. Please welcome Mother Jean and also her daughter Asia to the show. Thank you. Thank you. Why do you think that there's such a psychic connection between you and your daughter? Uh, the moment they brought Asia and when she was born, you I just felt I, something. Well, I, I looked at her. I knew I'd known her all my life. Yeah, you did know her in three other lives. That's one, one of the questions. One in Greece, uh, one in France, and one in Turkey. Wow. And we, I have prophetic dreams that come true. We don't. I don't have any control over them. Yeah. Asia and I share dreams about our animals. Yeah. Wait, wait, like what, Asia? What, what do you guys, what, what's the last dream that you've shared that you think? Um, one in particular was we had this one dog, and I called mom one day and told her about this dream I'd had, and she said, well, I had the same dream, same too. Dream. And it was about him actually getting run over. That's him right there. And um, he didn't get run over, but something did happen to him, and his things like that. And I also dreamed that there was a portal of all the animals that I'd ever had, and even some that I really didn't know who they were, but, you know, she... I had to explain in. to her which ones yeah. they were. And yeah. in the backyard where, you know, we lived. And I didn't know if that was... Yeah, it's just animals from the other side that come back to visit, you know, because yeah. they're on the other side, too. In a past life, did we do anything with animals that we have such a strong Yeah, you connection? raised animals in one life. We actually feel like it's a calling to rescue these, these animals. Yeah. Is, is there a purpose in the dreams, and, and is there a purpose of us doing this? Yeah, because you used to do it in a past life. Do you see what I mean? It's a past life recall that's coming So they're back. kind of yearning to do it again. Yeah, yearning to do it again. So? That's wonderful. Have you been thinking about doing it? Why not just get busy? Yeah. My father and I had this telepathic thing, too, like you and your mother. We used to have the same dreams, you and know. And, I mean, she'll answer questions that I have Before you asked. ever, yeah. yeah. Or she'll finish she'll sentences. She'll say, did I say that out loud? Yeah. Yeah, yeah or you'll finish each other's sentences. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I know it's what telepathic. she's going to say. Yeah. My, my father and I were very close, and, and he used to visit me in dreams, and he doesn't now, but he, he seems to visit yeah. Asia. Is he around us? Uh-huh. He visits her because... He feels like, not because she's in trouble, but he feels like she needs it more than you do now. She did need it very badly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It came in a dream while I was pregnant and held my hand. When I woke up... There he was, yeah. So that's what it's all about. Does that Thank answer you so it? Much. You're welcome. Right, good enough. Yes, ma'am, you had a question for Sylvia. Yes, hi, Sylvia. Thank you for being here. And my dear friend's son died in a car accident a year ago. Oh. But... Um, we don't know what happened, and I don't know if there's anything that you could tell us about what did take place. Uh, veered off from uh, running into another car. So from... Hit a car, or veered off from hitting another car and then hit something. Okay, thank you. Yes. Yes, ma'am, you had a question for Sylvia. Hi, Sylvia. I was just wondering if I'm ever going to figure out exactly what I want to do. I think you'll go into teaching. Thank you. 
Yes, ma'am, you had a question for Sylvia. My cousin killed herself when she was 16, and she left a note. And I was, um, there's no way for us to find out what was in the note. So I was wondering if I could find out. I think she was just saying how depressed she was and how she wanted to get out of here. Uh, I think she'd been depressed for most of her life, you know what I mean? And this is what we call, again, bipolarism, which seems to be on the rise, I swear to God, every time you turn around. Okay. I don't know whether it's the atmosphere or the climate or whatever, but every time I turn around, there's a bipolar problem. All right, thank you. Yes, ma'am, you had a question for Sylvia. Uh, hi, Sylvia. I just have a question about my divorce. Um, I'm going through a, quite a difficult divorce, and not, nothing seems to be going very well. And I'm just wondering if you see how the outcome is going yeah, to be. Yeah, get another lawyer. <laughs> All right, thank you. Yes, sir, you had a question for Sylvia. Hello, Montel. Hello, Sylvia. Uh, my mother and father both passed away about six months apart back in 2000. I was just wondering if they have any kind of message or anything like that. Yeah, they said they actually wanted to go together. You know, they actually had a pact. Right. A lot of people do. My mother and dad went three months apart, although I don't know why my dad would want to be with my mother, but anyway. Um, but, no, they were to, uh, they're together, and they come around you, and they also... Which a lot of people do. They're with you in a vehicle all the time. I thought so. All right. Yeah, you Thank feel you. them. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. We'll take a break. We'll be back right after this.